Governor, let me ask the president something about what you just said. Uh, the, the governor says that he is not going to allow uh, the top 5%, I believe is what he said, to have a tax cut, that it will all even out, that what he wants to do is give that tax cut to the middle class. Settled? No, it's not settled. Look, uh, the cost of lowering rates for everybody across the board, 20%, along with what he also wants to do in terms of eliminating the estate tax, along what he wants to do in terms of corporate uh, changes in the tax code, it costs about $5 trillion. Governor Romney then also wants to spend $2 trillion on additional military programs, even though the military is not asking for them. That's $7 trillion. He also wants to continue the Bush tax cuts for the wealthiest Americans. That's another trillion dollars. That's $8 trillion. Now, what he says is he's going to make sure that this doesn't add to the deficit and he's going to cut middle class taxes. But when he's asked, how are you going to do it? Which deductions, which loopholes are you going to close? He can't tell you. The, the fact that he only has to pay 14% on his taxes when a lot of you are paying much higher. You know, he's already taken that off the board. Capital gains are going to continue to be at a low rate, so we, we're not going to get money that way. We haven't heard from the governor any specifics beyond Big Bird and eliminating funding for Planned Parenthood in terms of how he pays for that. Now, Governor Romney was a very successful investor. If somebody came to you, Governor, with a plan that said, here, I want to spend seven or eight trillion dollars, and it, we're going to pay for it, but we can't tell you until maybe after the election how we're going to do it. You wouldn't have taken such a sketchy deal. And neither should you, the American people, because the math doesn't add up. And, and what's at stake here is one of two things, either candy, this blows up the deficit, because keep in mind, this is just to pay for the additional spending that he's talking about, seven, eight trillion dollars. That's before we even get to the deficit we already have. Or alternatively, it's got to be paid for not only by closing deductions for wealthy individuals. That, that'll pay for about 4% reduction in tax rates. You're going to be paying for it. You'll lose some deductions. And you can't buy this sales pitch. Nobody who's looked at it that's serious actually believes it adds up. Mr. President, let me get... Of course they add up. I, 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 was, I was someone who ran businesses for 25 years and balanced the budget. I ran the Olympics and balanced the budget. I ran the, the uh, state of Massachusetts as a governor, to the extent any governor does, and balanced the budget all four years. When we're talking about math that doesn't add up, how about $4 trillion of deficits over the last four years, $5 trillion. That's math that doesn't add up. We have, we, we have a president talking about someone's plan uh, in, in a way that's completely foreign to what my real plan is. And then we have his own record which is we have four consecutive years where he said when he was running for office he would cut the deficit in half. Instead, he's doubled it. We've gone from $10 trillion of national debt to $16 trillion of national debt. If the president were reelected, we go to almost $20 trillion of national debt. This puts us on a road to Greece. I know what it takes to balance budgets. I've done it my entire life. So, for instance, when he says, yours is a $5 trillion cut, well, no, it's not, because I'm offsetting some of the reductions, withholding down some of the deductions. And and Governor, and, I got to I got to actually, I'm, I'm I need sorry. to have you both hang up. I understand you, yeah. the stakes here. I understand both of you, but I, I will get run out of and I just town if and I, I just don't allow you, Mr. President. I just described to you, you precisely get, how I do it, I, okay. with this, with a, a single Good. number that people can put, and they can put their 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 uh, me, deductions and credits into that. Mr. President, we're keeping track. I promise you. And Mr. President, the next question is for you. So stay standing.